I love using macOS and one of the best things about macOS is that it's so stable and it's so secure. But there's one application that I really love from Windows and that's Wallpaper Engine. I really love the idea of having a wallpaper that is animated or I can put a video wallpaper of my own choice on my desktop and having them together. I mean my computer is literally linked with my MacBook has the same wallpaper because I really love this animation wallpaper and this one is only available on Wallpaper Engine but I want to have it on macOS as well. So there's a way to do it and I'm going to show you how. So the first thing that we need to do is go to our App Store. Now, when you open App Store here, you just simply search for dynamic wallpaper. Now this application is this one. It will cost money. Now I paid two pounds 49 for it and I, I promise you it's worth every single penny. Now once you install it, you simply just open it. And the moment you open it, you will have it here on the top. So you go, for example, you have workshop, playlist and downloaded. So downloaded are the ones that you add or you download for them because they also have a workshop. So here you can select, for example, this one, we will see how it is. And if you like it, then you can uh, set it up as a wallpaper. So how you can see this is more like a League of Legends, not too friendly wallpaper. But for example, if you do like it, you go here and you press download and how you can see start and downloading exactly how wallpaper engine works. You see a wallpaper, you download it. This one, for example, the same thing. You preview it or you can directly download it. Some of them, they will have music. Some of them, they won't have music. So you have to be careful there, especially if you're making videos, uh, be careful with copyright. But this one, for example, it's just some guy who listens to music. If you do like it, download it now how do you know it's download you have this click mark here so this you it will appear on every single wallpaper that you download it once they are downloaded you just go to download it here and how you can see i have my wallpapers here this one is still loading because it's still downloading well now it's finishing and it's here so how you can see all of your wallpapers they're here including the one from the wallpaper engine now, in order to take the wallpaper engine's wallpaper and put it on a Mac, you need a Windows PC. There's no way you can run it on a Mac to take the wallpapers. But there is a workaround if you don't have a Windows PC. You can just go on Google and search for UTM and it will get you on this mac.getutm.app. Well, this one will literally run Windows for you on your Mac. So you will use a virtual machine technically. You download Windows and it's completely free and you just install Windows on it, then you install Wallpaper Engine and then you follow the steps that you're going to see right now. So there's two ways that you can do to get Wallpaper Engine on your Mac OS. So the first one is very easy. You search for the wallpaper that you want. For example, this one, you right click and you see if they have a um, MP4. So some of them, they have MP4. For example, this one, it's a simple MP4. This wallpaper has one. All you have to do is just copy this and paste it in your MacBook. And then like this, you just import the video and then you'll have the same wallpaper on a MacBook. But there's a way, there's a different way, I'm sorry. Uh, some of them, they don't have a, uh, a MP4, for example, how this one, this one doesn't have one. So what you have to do is literally, you will have to right click on it and open in a window and full HD preview. This one is a little bit complicated, so hear me out here. And how you can see it open here. Now, the other thing that you want to do is open OBS, click, this is my recording, so I'm sorry, click this plus and click on window capture. Give it a name, whatever you want. And in a window capture, just select the one that is right for you. Windows 10 here, so you will take and pop out. And here I got the wallpaper. Now this will record the wallpaper, just record it for about a minute. That's why I normally do. I just record it for about a minute. And then this recording, you transfer it to your Mac OS and then you will have it as a wallpaper engine wallpaper. And then let's go to Mac OS and show you 
how to put all these wallpapers. So once you take them, you just simply add them here and it will work perfectly. Now, if you want to know how to add them, when you click, not on this one, when you click on the icon here, you have import local video. Once you import a local video, then you can add whatever you want. You can put whatever you want as a wallpaper for your uh, for your computer. Maybe you can put a video with the kids, with the family, with your dog, the cat, whatever you want. And you'll have a wallpaper animated version or a video as your wallpaper. So that's how uh, dynamic uh, dynamic wallpaper works on, on Mac OS and it's pretty cool. The main thing that I love about it is that mine is working non-stop. I never shut it down because I just love how it is. And my computer, it's a MacBook uh, Air with M2, the 16 uh, inch one. And I don't feel the difference with or without it. The battery is not getting affected at all. So it's really, really good optimization. But yeah, if you do like the video, please don't forget to leave a like. I always appreciate the like because it, it helps me, you know, get this more video to to more people and then like this I can grow and become a bigger YouTuber. And uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next one.